What's up, YouTube? I'm geeking out, and this is most definitely the hardest video that I will ever have to make. Because, as I'm sure many of you know, the news just broke not that long ago that the Colossus of Comics, the father of fandom, and I say that in, in that way to pay respects to him. But Stan Lee has passed away. And this is hard news to accept. It's hard news to deal with. But um, I would like to personally extend my deepest condolences to his family, his daughter I know, who's having, who broke the news and let everybody know um, of the situation, and just to let them know that, um, as I'm sure you guys would want them to know as well, that our thoughts and our prayers are with them as they deal with this loss, and just can't imagine how hard this would be for them. I know for me personally, guys, celebrity deaths, there have only been a few of them that have uh, really that have really bothered me, that have hurt me on a, on a personal, emotional level. Carrie Fisher was one. Adam West was the other. And then now with uh, the passing of Stan Lee. And this one is by far the hardest. I can, I don't think anybody else will, will ever come close because I don't think any other celebrity will ever come close to having the impact on my life that Stan Lee has had. And one of my biggest regrets in life I know will be that I never got the chance to meet him and personally thank him for everything that he has done everything that he helped to build, and then just thank him for who he was as a person because take away uh, the characters for a second and the love that we have for them, and I'm showing these uh, vintage comic book covers and everything of the Fantastic Four, the Spider-Man, the X-Men, all these things that he helped create, and looking back on these with nostalgia and love, and these are great characters and, you know, this channel is dedicated to all of these things. And we love those characters, and they're great, and they're awesome, but take that away for just a second. Stan Lee, just as a human being, as a man, as a person, was a hero. He himself was a hero to me and I'm sure to many of you as well and to his family and his friends because there are a lot of celebrities out there that they play iconic roles and we love the roles that they play but as a person they are not someone that we would look up to and they do not have the same ethics and character as they do as the characters they are portraying but the great thing about Stan Lee is that many of the character qualities that he placed into his heroes and the ethics that he gave to his heroes were a part of his personal life. You know, I just, I, I marvel at that. That, you know, he creates a character like Captain America who is, um, you know, just an outstanding person and a human being with great ethics and morals and 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 really that was you know how how Stan Lee was as well and then you've got characters like Spider-Man who uh, struggles in doing the right thing and wants to do the right thing and wants to help others and be an inspiration to other people but is still human and 
and still has has faults at like all of the characters that he created and that really was who he was as well and we've seen uh, we all love the cameos that he's done in the Marvel movies um, and the great thing about that is that in all of those he wasn't playing some superhero or something he was playing himself and that's all he ever needed to be all he ever needed to be in his life was himself and he's an inspiration to all of us that that's all we need to be and he even would say that himself in the interviews that he would have and talking about creating these characters and the love that he had for them and and what started it and the inspiration for all of it the one thing he would say is that you know when you're doing something that you love it's not work anymore it's like play and that there that he felt that there were so many people out there that had things they wanted to do and never did them and weren't true to themselves and who who they were and really that's what brought all of this about because I remember hearing him say tell about just the creation of uh, his first comics which you know his first comics were the Fantastic Four and with that and him coming home and talking to his wife and telling her you know I I know what I need to do I need to write this comic this is what I need to do but I know if I do it that I'll probably lose my job but this is what I feel is right and this is what I know I need to do and his wife just being there for him and supporting him and loving him and telling him you need to do the right thing and that's what started it all and him continuing to tell that story and trying to inspire others that if you see something that you know you need to do and you know it's right then just do it no matter what other people are telling you if it's if you know that it's right to do then do it and and you see that through everything even with the the staple say, saying that was made famous in the Spider-Man movies with great power comes great responsibility and that was just a testament of his life and you know guys I keep on I keep on remembering and thinking about um, the cameo that he made in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 3 and really that was the best part of that movie when he comes up to him and he's talking with him and he just looks at him and he says you know I guess one man really can make a difference and that that right there is the life of Stan Lee one man really can make a difference and he made a difference in all of our lives he inspires us to be more and to be better and I was re-watching some of the cameos and stuff that he did before I made this and I saw the cameo that he did um, for the Defenders trailer and he's talking about uh, you know how that our heroes inspire us and they inspire us even when they're not perfect and uh, those aren't the exact words that he said but that's what he was was getting at it, you know they do the right thing but they're not perfect and I know Stan Lee wasn't perfect I'm not trying to say that he was we're all human I know that but I respect and admire him so much for what he did and for being just uh, an awesome person and I respect him for the respect that he had and the love that he had for his wife I've never I, I've never seen such a uh, a great relationship between a husband and wife as far as celebrities and stuff go you know with my father and my mother and my gra grandparents yes but other than that I've never seen such a loving 
and a wonderful relationship between a husband and a wife and how he respected her and he loved her and how she was there for him and supported him through everything and you know it's 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 amazing to me and it is an inspiration to me and that really is the one word that I that I would use to define his life is inspirational And I'm going to miss having him. I'm going to miss having him around. It's, it's, it's hard to even process the fact that he's not here anymore. And I know he lived a long life, and I know he was dealing with a lot of health issues, so, you know, he's not having to deal with that anymore, but it's hard to accept the fact that he's gone. But because he invested so much of himself into the characters that he made and the characters that he created, we'll always have a piece of him here with us. He'll always be here with us, and I, I remember the, the first time I ever recognized and, and identified who Stan Lee was. I was watching um, some special features for um, a DVD that I had of the 90s, the 1990s animated Spider-Man series, and I was listening to him talk about this character that he created, and I was listening to him talk about uh, e the villains that he created in the sinister Doc Ock. And, um, but hearing him talk about Spider-Man and how he loved the Spider-Man character so much because he was a real person, and he was identifiable. You could identify with Peter Parker. And you, because of the, the struggles that he had, and, and then he, he made Peter Parker at the age that he was being a teenager because he wanted teenagers to have someone that they could relate to as well that was dealing with all of these things that they were dealing with but was still able to, to overcome them and work through them, and how that he loved the fact that Spider-Man wore a mask because that made it where that kids around the world, everyone could see themselves as being Spider-Man. Just hearing him talk about these characters with such love and respect m makes me love them more. Seeing the man behind the mask, seeing seeing who he really was as a person. And that's the thing I'm going to miss most. Because we're, we're still going to have Spider-Man comics. We're still going to have Fantastic... Well, we don't have... Well, yes, they did bring back the Fantastic Four. We're still going to have Fantastic Four and Avengers and X-Men. We're going to have all these comics still, yes. But we don't have Stan Lee anymore. That's the hard thing for me. Not the impact it's going to have on the comics, but the impact it has on the world because a great human being, a great person that was an inspiration to me and an inspiration to you to be better and to be that hero and to be true to yourself and to do the right thing no matter what other people are telling you, we don't have that person anymore. And we need more people like that. We need more Stan Lees in the world. A person who, and he really did care about his fans. He really did love his fans. It wasn't a facade. It wasn't a put on to make more money. He truly did care. So this is just a memorial to him that 
a great man that I love and will miss. And really, guys, there just are not enough words to describe just how big of an impact and how deeply we are going to miss Stan Lee. So if you would, guys, just please take a minute to reflect on, you know, what he has meant to you. And if you would, jump down in the comment sections and leave your favorite memory of Stan Lee and just let me know how much he meant to you as well. I would really love to hear it.